What's up everyone? In this video we're going to be looking at the Instagram Graph API webhooks where you're going to be setting ourselves up with a Facebook app, adding webhooks for Instagram, and subscribing to the test endpoints for comments, mentions, and story insights. We are going to be adding the webhooks product to our Facebook app and then we are going to subscribe to the comments, mentions, and the story insights. For each of these we have a test button which will send a response to our server. If we click on test, it will show us exactly what will be sent to our server. This is a test comment. Once you click send to server, it says the request is sent, a post request. Then we can check our log. Over in my test log, I'm going to re-download that file. We have ourselves a test comment. So that was a test comment that came over from the server. The same would happen for the mentions and the story insights. The other thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is automatically reply if you have been mentioned. If I hit the test button here, we're going to test this mention out. I'm going to click send to my server. It's going to send me a post request. I'm going to re-download my file here. Now we see I have been mentioned. Obviously, this is a dummy mention with some dummy IDs. However, I have hard-coded in my webhook file a post call back to Instagram to post a reply to a mention. I'm going to head over to Instagram, click on my profile, and I'm going to look for the post that I have hard-coded. Because my app is in development mode, the webhooks aren't working in real time, so I've hard-coded the media ID, which is this post right here, and the comment ID, which the person has mentioned me in. Right here, this guy mentioned me, so if this was a live app and he did mention me, instead of me clicking that test button, it would run right to my server, and I would have automatically replied with webhook reply from YouTube. The first thing we want to do is we want to create ourselves a Facebook app. So we're going to over to developers.facebook.com. Then we're going to click on the My Apps. Then we're going to click Create App. I'm going to call this the Web Hook Test. Click Create App. I'm going to confirm I'm not a robot. And I'm going to click Submit. The page should refresh and we should have ourselves a Facebook app. Under Products, we are concerned only with the web hooks right here. On Web Hooks, we're going to click Setup. This brings us to the webhooks page. Now it's asking us what webhooks would we like to subscribe to. For this video, we are concerned with Instagram. Once I've selected Instagram, I'm going to click subscribe to this object. Now it is important to note your callback URL does need to be HTTPS. That's what they require. And for my webhook test here, I'm going to set it up under my website, justinstolpe.com, blog code, Instagram graph API, slash webhooks. Then it's going to ask me for a verification token. This is something you are supposed to verify when they send you the post request. You want to make it nice and secure like 12345. Now if we click verify and save, that just sent my server a verification request. And because I don't have it set up yet, I just made up a send point right now, we have to go and send it up. If you hover over the X, it says HTTP not found. No wonder because I haven't coded it yet. So we're going to leave this page open and I'm going to go and create an index.php file on my web server. On my server, I have set myself up with a index.php in my webhooks folder. If we hit that in the URL, we should see Instagram Graph API webhooks. Zoom that in a bit. We have our index.php set up. This will be our callback for any webhooks coming from Instagram. Now that I have my index file set up, I'm going to log out with file put contents, the values coming from Instagram. And I'm going to call the first log verify. Then I'm going to print out the get request. Before we can even work with the test buttons, we need to verify our app with Instagram. Every time we click on verify and save, it's going to keep coming back to this pop-up with this little red X unless we are verified. I'm going to click verify and save. And again, it came back with the little red X. Now I'm going to open up my verify log. Every time we click on that verify button in the Facebook app dashboard, this is the get request that they send to us. According to the Facebook documentation, if we echo out the hub challenge, we will be verified. All I have to do here is echo out the hub challenge from our get request. After echo, I'm going to do a die. Now if I click the verify and save button, it's going to spin a little bit and the pop-up goes away and we have gained access to the Instagram webhooks. We see we have our comments, our mentions, and our story insights. Notice this warning right here which says that only applications in live mode will be able to receive real-time webhooks. 
So for now, all we can do is the test button. Back in our code, we can move on to actually testing each of those webhooks. Verify process is over, so I'm going to comment this out. And we'll leave a comment at the top saying that oh, this is the verification steps. Now we're on to the testing of the webhooks. Now, whenever we test a webhook, it is a post request. So in PHP, to get the values from the post request, we're going to do JSON equals file get contents. We're going to do our PHP input. That will get us info from the post request in JSON. Then we want to decode our JSON data, JSON decode of our JSON variable from our file get contents. Then we want to do another file put contents. So we're going to place the JSON data from the webhooks in our data log. In our data log, we're going to place our JSON decoded string, which is our data variable. And then we'll do another die right here. Back to our app in the dashboard. The only way we can test these endpoints for each webhook is to click on the test button. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test out the comments. Hit the test button. It's going to give you a little pop-up of the JSON it's going to be sending to your server. Hit send to server. The post request will be sent to your server. You and check out the data log. And we have an example comment. We got the object, the entry. The ID will be the Instagram user ID, if it's a real ID. This is just a test timestamp, and then the changes. The field specifies a type of change. In this case, it's a comment. And the ID, and then the actual text for the comment. Let's head back to our Facebook dashboard and try the mentions. We hit the test, click send to my server, and that post request will be sent. Refreshing my data log here, down below we now have a new object at the bottom. We have the same things, an object, Instagram entry ID, which would be the Instagram account ID. Time is a timestamp. In this object, the changes are different in that the field is now the mentions. The mentions provides a value object specifying the media ID that the mention was on and then the comment that they mentioned the user in. The last webhook is the story insights. Test that one as well. Send this JSON data to our server refresh data.log. At the bottom, we now have an entry ID timestamp, and the field is now story insights, which is going to give us info onto the story. For the story, we have impressions, reach, taps forward, taps back, exits, and replies. So that is how you test out each of the webhooks for the Instagram Graph API. All you have to do is add the webhooks product to your app, verify, just click test on each of these, and the Facebook app will send a test post request to your server with the data in the, the little pop-up right here. Now that we're done testing each of the webhooks, I'm going to show you guys how to do an example response if you got mentioned in a post, your app was actually live, and you actually got mentioned in a comment. Since we are in testing mode, we are not getting real data back. In our mentions, we got back an ID of zero, which is not a valid Instagram account ID. The media ID and comment ID were also bogus. So I'm going to show you guys my comments and replies. This is my comments and replies.php file. If you guys haven't checked out this video, go check out my Instagram graph API on comments and replies because I'm going to be using this to get some IDs, the IDs that we need, in order to post a fake reply as if we were getting an actual mention from a webhook. We see right here that I got mentioned in this comment, which is the scenario that we are looking for for the webhook mentions. If I had the Instagram Graph API set up with webhooks, and this guy posted this mention to me, my webhook would have been hit, and I could have automatically posted a reply. Since I didn't have it set up, I'm going to show you guys an example. Scroll down here in the raw response, I can find the IDs that I need in order to fake this reply. This is the ID to the comment that we need. I'm going to copy that ID over on my index, I'm going to call this the comment ID variable. The next thing we need is the media ID. The media ID I'm going to get directly from my comments and replies.php script. Save that in the my media ID variable. Now all we have left to do is get my user ID, which I already have saved in my defines file. Go back and check out the comments and replies video. Here in my defines file is my Instagram account ID. I'm just going to use that variable 
because I already have it saved. Now we have everything we need in order to post a reply if somebody mentions us in one of their comments. Now we can define a params array with the variables needed in order to make a post call to respond to the comment that we were mentioned in. The first thing we're going to define is our endpoint URL. The endpoint URL from the Facebook API is graph.facebook.com and then we need our user ID which we're going to get from our defines file. After we have our user ID we're going to do slash mentions. Then we're going to specify a type of post because this is a post request. And finally, we need to define the URL params. Here we need a comment ID, a media ID, a message, and an access token. And our access token is also going to come from our defines file. If you guys didn't check out my Instagram graph API access tokens, go check it out. That's how we got it. So our comment ID is just this variable. Our media ID is the media ID variable. And our message is going to be this is an auto reply from a webhook. We have our parameters array defined. We're passing our comment ID that we got back, our media ID that we got back, in theory. If this wasn't a test of the webhooks, we would have real media IDs and comment IDs and real Instagram account IDs, but we don't, so we're faking them. And we're getting our Instagram account ID and our access token from our defines file which is actually up one folder, dot dot backslash. So now all we have left to do is actually make this call. So we're going to find a function called make API call. And in it, we're going to pass our params. First lines here are just specifying we're making a post call. Post is true. And we're setting our post fields to our URL params that we defined right here. After we have our curl call set to post, we're going to define the endpoint. Endpoint is actually going to be our params media endpoint. Sorry, our params endpoint URL. Just like that. Set a few other curl options. And we're going to get a response back from our curl and set it to response. Then we need to close it. Now that our curl call has been closed, we define a response array equal to uh, JSON decode of our response because we want a nice PHP array. We're going to return that response array. So if we make our API call, we'll call this response info. If all goes well, we should get back an ID of the response that we made. If this was a real webhook, not a testing, instead of faking the comment ID and media ID, we would pull them right out of the response that we got back, right here, the data, JSON decode, from our data log. In this case, here is our mentions object. So if this was a real mentions, we would just take the media ID and comment ID and the Instagram ID right from here. But since it's not, we're faking the comment ID, the media ID, and the Instagram account ID, along with my access token. Our params array right here says that to that media and that comment on that media, we're going to post a message saying, this is an auto reply from a webhook. We're gonna pass those params into our make API call function, which is a curl post request to the Instagram graph API on this endpoint slash mentions. Before I hit the test button again, I'm going to uncomment these lines right here. We're going to get our JSON from Instagram Graph API. We're going to decode it and we're going to place it in our data log. And after that happens, we're going to fake reply to this hard coded comment that we just coded. All right, so back in our Facebook app, Webhook Tests, I'm going to click on the test button for the mentions. We're going to get our JSON. We're going to send it to my server. It's been sent. Refresh my data log we see our object. The real question is, did we reply on Instagram? We're gonna scroll down, find that post, and now we see there are two replies right here. View replies. A minute ago, we just replied that this is an auto reply from a webhook. Fake auto reply from a webhook. But you guys get the idea. If we're not in test mode, 
when that guy mentioned us in that comment, a webhook would have been kicked off to our server, we'd have got it, and we would have auto-replied. And that is Instagram Graph API webhooks. We have set ourselves up with a Facebook app, we have subscribed to the webhooks product, and we have tested the comments, mentions, and the story insights, logged them all out. We even did a fake reply to a webhook test on the mentions endpoint. And that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.